Hey guys, Newbie Life here, and I'm at the Limited Run retail store here in Cary, North Carolina, and they have a damage sale going on, which I'm very curious to check out. Now, this isn't a follow-up video of any sorts from when I went to the grand opening, but because I don't think that the store is going to be stocked the way it normally is on a regular basis business day i feel like this is more oh how wrong you are past me so it will how wrong you are as per the event so this is not a reflection of what the store looks like as of now this is just an event and i was just very curious to see what kind of stuff is on damage sale and how badly damaged is it so i'll see you guys in there uh, Right there. Awesome. Yeah, like that guy said, the actual damage scene was in a what they called an event room. Oh wow, this is a room room. Which was a small room where they had all the damaged items. But if you look closely, you really would have to look at some of these items to see what was damaged and what like what was wrong with it. Because some of these were literally just the plastic was off, and that's why they were returned and considered dead. This here is the rest of the store, where everything is pretty well stocked. They still had a lot of PS4 games, a lot of Switch games. They only had a very small uh, PlayStation Vita section. Aside from that, it looks like business is booming for limited run games, and I couldn't be happier for them. It's actually really funny that I didn't even pick up anything from their damage zone, because nothing caught my eye. I gotta say, there was a lot of collector's editions I was tempted to get, but I had to be strong, because a lot of them weren't going to be games that I was going to really play. I tried to collect only what I'm going to play, not what just seems like a good collector's edition just to have it. I did that during college and it didn't go over so well. Alright, now I am heading to the flea market area. So the store is located. Hopefully this sounds good, this is my first time using a mic in outdoors and I forgot to bring the dead cat. It was a bit of a walk to get to the flea market area because it was in a fenced off area that was a bit of a distance from the shopping center which I found a little funny but they did have one limited run employee there. Overall, the all the vendors that they did have were really nice. Uh, they actually gave me pretty good deals with the stuff I picked up. And I'll be honest, the most expensive thing I saw was a Nintendo Entertainment System game for a thousand dollars. But I don't even remember what it was. But the guys that were there, both just regular customers and the vendors knew what they were looking at so it must be valuable but just not to someone around my age because I feel like it was before my my time I kind of do wish I got more stuff but I remembered certain items only when I was already home but it is what it is you win some you lose some Back at the cave. This is a line to get in at one at about 1.30. Uh, 
and we are back in my cave, my sub cave. The other cave is under construction. Uh, be doing updates on that soon. Sorry that I've been gone for about a month, I think, was my last upload. It's been a lot of stuff going on. I've been trying to plan a lot of things, but hopefully uh, my plans work out and everything falls into place. I don't know if I didn't apologize earlier for the absence or lack of uploads. Some of the things that I got at the limited run game store was nothing from the damage sale. Nothing. There was nothing there that personally interested me, per se. But I didn't leave empty handed from the limited run store. I got these two suckers. <laughs> Rocket Bird Hard Boiled Chicken and Rocket Bird Evolution. So I got these, I was originally going to get these on the PS Vita, but then I decided to get them on the PS4 because I realized that they are two player. I don't know if this is focusing right, but two player. Which I'm most likely going to play with my fiance. Let me do a quick little unboxing. The first one, of course. And actually, funny enough, in the damage sale, there was a time frame. So when you first get in, if you got there at 10 o'clock, from 10 to 12, I believe, it was 10% off any damage item. Then from 12 to 2, it was 20 or 25% off. And then from 2 to 4, which is when the whole thing ends, was when they had every damaged item on sale for 50% off, the price that's on the on there and I'll be honest for 50% off not bad but again nothing caught my eye and look at that got a got a one uh, what is it? oh okay it's at, le at least it's a nice little poster I'll give it that make a nice nice little poster <laughs> And of course, there is a sleeve. That looks badass. All right, and on to the second game. Um, I have played the first one on the Vita. It was one of the free games from PlayStation Plus. Not gonna lie, I actually really enjoyed playing it. Didn't beat the game, but I got a good chunk through the game. But anyway, let's see the second game. Aw, no insert cover. Ooh. Once again, the a one shot manual. I don't understand. I haven't had much luck with PlayStation 4 um, limited run games because they don't seem to come with a manual for the most part. At least the ones that I've picked up, which are Star. I think I've PS4 wise, I have Star Wars, Metal Slugs. I believe that's about it. And nothing. But I wonder. Well, that's the only thing I got at the store. Actually, yeah, that's about it. That's all for limited run stuff. At the flea market area, though, I decided to test myself. So I had $50 cash to spend. And I'm not gonna lie, I came home with about $16, $17. Because, but this is what I got for under 50 bucks. 
So uh, my first purchase was at this vendor called, I believe it's Retro Games and Records. They're located in Winston-Salem in North Carolina. And I picked up Justice League Heroes for the PS2. And they sold this to me for 10 bucks even. And it came with disc and the manual, baby. Uh, I have this on my PSP, but I've always wanted to play the PS2 copy. So that's gonna be fun. And let's see. If it sounds like I'm speed running, I'm sorry. I'm not doing it on purpose. It's just, I guess, all jumbled up. Uh, let's see, the next thing I got, I believe, was. Ah! Plants vs. Zombies for the Nintendo DS. Which, this I got, I don't know what possessed me to want it, but. Um, it was five dollars. They sold this to me for five dollars. What are you gonna do? That, I think that was a great deal. And then I believe for a pretty good deal. These were, I got these for Six dollars, and I know this is gonna be a game that's dead, but it has collectible figures that I personally wanted. So I got the Disney Infinity Star Wars figures, Obi Wan Kenobi. I got Darth Maul. Han Solo. And last but not least, Chewbacca. Now, they sold these to me literally six bucks. And it was like two dollars each. But they had a sale with like if you get three, three for five, and all that stuff. And he was able to do six for four, which is going to go great on my. Star, with the rest of my Star Wars Disney Infinity figures. Last but not least, I got Puyo Puyo Tetris for the Nintendo Switch for 10 bucks. I've played the demo for this countless times and always wanting to buy the full game but never getting around to it, and I finally saw the opportunity to get it. I was shocked to see the deals that they did have in the flea market area, because I honestly didn't think I would get this good of a deal, and like I said, for under, less than $50. I, got, like, I came home with 16, $17, so it was less. I could have bought more, but just chose not to because there's really nothing else I wanted, like really wanted to put in my collection. So all that being said, it was a good day for collecting. Very good day for collecting. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Did my best to try to get a little bit of everything at, at the limited run damage uh, store, damage um, sale. It was all confined to one small room and so they kept everything else that was in the store as per normal. And just a small update, I was wrong. At the beginning of the video, I said that they took their stock and they replaced it with the damn stuff. They didn't, they just took, I believe what is their back room and stocked it with all the damaged stuff. So I was completely wrong on that end. So it's kind of a weird update video too. The store still has a pretty good stock and stuff. There are definitely things that are sold out and also things that are being added from previous pre-orders and stuff. But aside from that, everything is there for the most part. There's still a good amount of stuff that people can get. I will take a shot in the dark that if there was something that is super popular in the 
collect collectors like um area i'm pretty sure it's already been taken if you're going for a full switch collection if you're trying to get a game that you missed out on i know celeste seems to be a really big game that a lot of people talk about and i can't say i saw that i saw that in the damage damage sale but i don't recall seeing it just out and about so funny enough this also turns into a update video on what limited run retail the limited run retail store looks like hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time bye thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe